what's up? Matthew Monis here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Six months later, is this phone still worth it? Let's find out. So, I've been using this device on and off for the past six months, and you know, I love the phone, but it's hard for me to make this my daily driver. Not because it's a bad phone, it's actually really good. It's just some of the design changes that Samsung decided to make. First and foremost, it's much too tall for me. Like, I mean, getting your finger up to the fingerprint scanner is just insane. I know a lot of people get used to it. I got used to it on the Galaxy S8, but I've never gotten used to it on the Note 8 just because of its sheer size. But visually speaking, this is hands down one of the most attractive smartphones on the market. And I still think it is going into 2018. Now, luckily for me, I haven't broke it, but it does get a lot of scratches. I mean, this thing scratches very easily. I got scratches on the display. I got scratches on the back. I got scratches everywhere. That's why I actually put a D-brand skin on it so that I don't get any more scratches. Now, one thing that continues to surprise me is the display. No matter which smartphone I use, every time I go back to the Galaxy Note A, the display completely shocks me all over again. It's hands down one of the brightest, most vivid, most contrasty looking displays I've ever used on the market. And it continues to be true today. But it's 6.3 inches, and that's a lot of inches for a lot of people. For me, I like using it as a medium consumption device, but it's hard for me to carry on a day-to-day -day basis just because of its sheer size. Sound is one of my biggest issues. With all these smartphones utilizing dual speakers, it breaks my heart that the Note 8 doesn't have dual speakers. I think this would have been the perfect phone if you could have stereo audio. Let me know when you're ready. Performance has always been a big problem with uh, Galaxy devices, but the Galaxy Note 8 has kind of surprised me. It's still running smooth, just as the day I got it. Now the Galaxy S8 with its four gigabytes of RAM was a different story. That thing started to slow down a few months later. But the Galaxy Note 8 with its six gigabytes of RAM, its beautiful Snapdragon 835 processor is running very well. Now it's not pixel too smooth, no phone is, but it is very smooth for a Samsung device. Now let's talk about that software. That is one thing that always bothers me about Samsung phones, the heavy theming, the touch whiz. It just doesn't feel cohesive like the Pixel 2 does. I'm impressed with Samsung. They're getting better every year, but I never used Bixby. I tried, I really did, I really did try, but it just didn't work out for me. I got rid of it, I installed Nova Launcher, and uh, I'm now using Google Now. Charge your battery here, 50 cents for the hour, $2 for two, we'll get you ready for the, oh, hey, Galaxy Note 8 battery life. Hasn't been a good experience for me. Now in all fairness, I am using the model with the Exynos version, which means it's not meant for North America. North America has a Snapdragon version. I'll tell you this, I can't get through the entire day with this smartphone. In fact, I can barely make it through half, especially if I'm doing heavy usage. I have to literally charge it midday to make it through the entire day. But I have talked to other tech reviewers and they get a full day's use with no problems. I think the battery life should have been better for most people. I mean, this phone is huge and therefore there should have been a bigger battery like the S8 Plus. So here's the bottom line. The Galaxy Note 8 is a fantastic smartphone. In fact, this is the best phone Samsung has ever created. The design, the functionality, the display, the camera. And if you're an S Pen user, you're gonna love this device. Now, I'll be honest. I didn't pick out the S Pen once when I was using this phone, maybe once to do a couple of sketches. And that's just because I personally don't need it. But I do see the appeal for it. To be able to sign contracts, sketch, draw, is fantastic for a lot of people, especially those who swear by it. Now, is it worth it six months later? I think so, especially if you can get a deal on it. But it has tough competition. You got the Pixel 2, the Pixel 2 XL. You have a great phones from Huawei. The list goes on. So that wraps up my six months later with the Galaxy Note 8. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. Would you still buy this phone? And if you have one, are you happy with yours? Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Subscribe, please.